15 must know tips for Modern Warfare 3 zombies. For a beginner, I highly recommend getting the following perks. Juggernog to increase health. Speed Cola to replate and reload faster. Deadshot Deckery for that increased critical damage. Crook Revive so you can regenerate your health faster. And Stamina Up so you can get maximum sprint speed and maximum run speed. Ideally, get them as soon as you can. Even load into the game with them if you have perk cans available or if you can craft them. If you want to try and get these perks for absolutely free, I already have a guide on the channel and you can check that out. Kill Hellhounds as fast as you can. They will always outsprint you, especially without stamina up. And they will down you if you don't take them down quickly enough. They hit pretty hard, and especially if there is multiple of them, you don't stand a chance if you're not taking them out first. Contracts are the best way to get essence. As soon as you load into a game, you want to be pulling up your map and finding a contract that suits you best. In the tier 1 zone, you'll need to do 3 contracts to have enough essence to pick up your gun to level 1. Don't underestimate the ether tools. Having a green rarity weapon in the tier 1 zone is more than enough, and obviously having a blue one is even better. For the tier 1 zone, you can either go for a green ether tool or a pack a punch level 1. Honestly, with how weak the zombies are, you don't actually need both. Don't be scared to run away a little if you're in a sticky situation. Running away to get a bit of distance to then turn around and get the bullets into the zombies isn't a bad thing, especially if you are killing a bounty. The bounties can actually hit kind of hard, so you definitely want to be a little bit careful, but as long as you have at least a pack a punch level 1 gun or a green or blue rarity weapon in the tier 1 zone, you should be completely fine. Decoy grenades work like monkey bombs in zombies. If you throw a decoy grenade, it will act as a monkey bomb, turning the attention of the zombies away from you and running towards the decoy grenade instead. Buy a medium rucksack and a two plate vest from the tier 1 buy station if you're having problems getting them as drops from your tier 1 contracts. Armor plates are very important in this zombies game. You don't want to be going around without armor plates. Especially you don't want to be going into the tier 2 zone without at least a two plate vest. I would recommend a three plate vest but you can go into the tier 2 zone with a two plate vest and buy yourself a tier 3 vest from the buy station for 10,000 points. Don't forget about your field upgrade. These can be very powerful in some situations. For beginners, I'd recommend using Healing Aura. Healing Aura literally heals you when you activate it and it will heal your teammates around you and it can even revive teammates if they're downed if you're close to them. Learn how to train zombies. This is a very big tip. Just standing still and trying to shoot them from all different directions is likely to get you killed. Being able to get them in a nice little group and take them down then is the best way instead of just getting attacked from all different angles. Be aware of the mercenaries. I'd even say avoid the mercenaries until you at least have a tier 2 plate and even Juggernog. They are very very strong and I am not joking about this. The mercenaries are extremely overpowered and you will go down very very easily to the mercenaries. Going into the tier 2 zone, I'm gonna say you at least need a blue rarity weapon and a level 2 pack-a-punch. Without this, you're gonna be wasting a lot of bullets and I mean a lot genuinely. They are very tanky if you don't have a strong enough weapon but when you do have a strong enough weapon you'll take them down very very easily. I do also highly recommend you at least have a two plate vest for the tier 2 zone but as mentioned previously make sure you're buying the three plate vest as soon as you can from the buy station. Do not go into the tier 3 zone until you are far more comfortable with the game in general. If you decide to step into the tier 3 zone you absolutely have to have stamina up Juggernog and a three plate vest. These are an absolute must for the tier three zone. And a big thing is make sure you only have one weapon on you because you're going to need to have your fists out with stamina up to be able to run around to outrun the zombies. The dogs will still outrun you with stamina up and your fists out in tier three like all the other tiers. So make sure that you are killing those as soon as you can. In the tier three zone, you are at least going to need a orange tier weapon and a level two pack a punch on the weapon. This is an absolute minimum for this area. These zombies have got a lot of health and they hit you very, very hard. So you've got to be extremely careful going into tier three. Play with teammates. You really want to avoid playing this game solo until you fully know what you're doing because the game is designed to be played as a group of three. Everything in this game is designed around being in a three-man team. So you want to be careful, especially going into the tier two and tier three zones as a solo. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, please let me know. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.